The next law, the law of conservation. This is a very interesting law. Every family wants to preserve all tradition, wants to preserve all belief system, maintain the stability. And every family in order to survive has to have rules. And this is good part. But of course, there is also a negative aspect. For example, a great grandmother lost a lot of money and suffered. The family message that comes through generations is money and happiness do not exist together. And let's say her great grandson grows up and wants to be successful, but the family does not support him. Uh, if he wants to open a new business, the family will say something, uh, it's not for you, you can't do it. Uh, there is nobody in our family who was a successful business person. Uh, you're gonna lose your money. You're gonna lose years uh, of trying to promote your business. And at the end, you're gonna suffer. So go and find a normal job. Go and find a normal job right, like your father, like your grandparents. You know, business is not for you. And the family is not gonna allow him to be successful. Another example of uh, law of conservation. A person is saying something like there, there are no divorces in our family. So therefore, I will tolerate my husband who is an alcoholic. I will tolerate my narcissistic wife. I will tolerate uh, the betrayal of my partner. I will tolerate his abuse. I will tolerate his uh, rude behavior. I will do my best to keep this toxic relationship because there is no divorces in our family. I have to work. I have to take care of my family. The family is something that should stay together no matter how hard it is. And a woman can spend 10, 15, 20 years in the toxic relationship, in the abusive relationship, just because there is a belief within her family that there are no divorces in our family.